Hello, Nicholas Dodge here. Today we will talk about a famous pterosaur, Pteranodon. Its name means toothless wing. It was named for its apparent lack of teeth. Pteranodon lived across western North America during the late Cretaceous period, about 85 million years ago. Pteranodon had a wingspan of 20 feet and it only weighed a mere 44 pounds. Although it was no heavier than a child, its wings made it much bigger than modern birds. Pteranodon was a carnivore. Fossil evidence shows that its diet primarily consisted of fish. Pterosaurs like Pteranodon were reptiles capable of powered flight, but they were not dinosaurs. Their wing structures were more like bats than birds. A pterosaur's wing was made of a thin membrane that extended from the tip of the extended fourth fingers to the ankles. The membrane was stiffened by tiny fibers, or actinofibrils, giving the wings lift. Although Pteranodon could fly under its own power, more often it glided on thermals. How do they take off though? According to further analysis of their anatomy, we believe they took off by crouching, then pushing up, and pitching their bodies forward using their arms. They extended their wings in the thrusting process, giving them the lift they needed to start flying. The long crest of Pteranodon is what makes it stand out from other pterosaurs. The purpose of this crest is up for debate. It could have served as an aerodynamic balance to keep it steady in mid-flight. On the other hand, it might have served as a visual display. Interestingly, we have found Pteranodon skulls that have a very short crest compared to those usually found. Based on thorough studies and comparisons to similar animals, we suspect that this is sexual dimorphism in the species. Based on this difference, it seems that the longer crest was in male specimens, and the shorter crest was in females. If this is the case, we think that males use their crests to show off rank and sexual maturity, leading females to pursue the males with the best looking crest. Initially, we assumed Pteranodon skimmed the surface of water, snatching fish on the wing. That was until another analysis showed a rather different hunting tactic. A study of the head, neck, and shoulders showed that they were as heavily built as diving birds, such as gannets. With this new evidence, we now assume that Pteranodon actually dived into the water to catch its prey. This action would have brought grave risks though, since marine reptiles dominated the Cretaceous seas, and some of them could have easily killed a pterosaur. Next time on Prehistoric World, we will document the clever Troodon. This is Mr. Dodge, signing off.